Listen, I'm fucking serious right now. Listen, okay? I'm joking, it's not them type of videos. Alright, I don't know where to start with this video if I'm being honest. But if I explain this to you guys, it's gonna be so hard to believe. Like, I still can't put my head around it as to how this blew up to this level. So starting off with the video in itself, alright. If you haven't seen the previous video, make sure you do that first, of course, obviously you won't understand what I'm talking about, but it's a Chelsea Stadium football video. In the beginning, you see us walk over to the security, because the main security, the guy on the left actually tells us to come out. You can see him gesturing to, for us to come out, right? And then his partner's like, no, one second, let me pretend I'm working for the MI6 and start pretending to radio in for backup when there's already two of you guys there. For the people that don't know, all they have to do is basically take you to the control room, verify who you are, end of, that's it. You get sent home or you get arrested. That's all that happens. And then you can see we have like a little chit chat on like why are you keeping us in the toilet kind of thing. Like what the hell's going on? Like just take us to the control room. You have that for a reason. The guy says go stand in the back to the toilet. And then straight away you guys can see some random beanhead pops out of nowhere and goes for my phone. He's like give me your phone. And for, for the people that don't know, I have every right not to give my phone. He's not within his rights. Even the police can't take your phone off you. And delete recordings. We have to check your phone. Yeah, you're not allowed to check my phone. Yeah, I'm checking phone. You're not allowed to Listen, check my phone. You have to check it. You have to delete it. You can't tell me to delete anything. No. You can't. Which the police actually verified when they come over, and then in the end, the police went over my footage in my phone. Although I didn't have to show him, I was nice enough to show him, and then he said, I don't have the power to delete anything, so we're gonna have to let them go, especially because they didn't do nothing illegal, they didn't trespass. And they came with a tour ticket and they weren't asked to leave, so now they're leaving. So what what have you filmed no. since being here? Just the toilet, but in, in terms of what you were saying, like because of the my new video that I've done that actually hired a counter-terrorism manager, so in that sense, we actually done something good. You know, recently it was on the news that hired because of the bomb threat and the video that we've done there that actually hired a counter-terrorism manager. So if anything, we've done something good. Okay. Because we're showing the loopholes of the security of like so they can improve on it. Can I, how much footage have you got on you? Was it on the cameras, on your phone? It's just yeah, it's on my phone. The main camera was, I was just going to use to shoot the field. When so it's on that on. phone there, like you Yeah. Okay. How much footage have you got? Just time, time, time wise. I don't know, like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Can you show me? Yeah, sure. <laughs> But before all of this, before the police actually came and sorted this out, so you guys can see on the screen the guy's threatening us, and then he realizes no matter how much they in try to intimidate us, me and my brother aren't scared. So basically, he was ab abusing the fact that I was still trying to record and he was trying to reach for my phone. And at one point, he basically knocked into my phone and actually stopped the recording, and I started the recording again. Listen to me. Just, just turn it, turn it off. Are you on? Listen to me. Listen to me. This guy is trying to intimidate he me. He can he move my face. Me. It was all over hype. Everyone's just shouting and screaming and everything. No. This guy's trying to attack me. I'm within my right. You take us to the control room. You identify us. You don't touch this. No, you try to grab it out of my hand. You don't make sense. You will see. We saw the lead. Trust me. Another woman comes in and starts talking to us, and she's like, "All right, guys, calm down." We were already calm. It was these guys trying to. In Intimidate us, it did not work whatsoever. So, this woman then thought she was higher than the police officer apparently and decided to ask for my phone and say, Give me your phone right now, I'm gonna delete the footage. Basically, reiterating what everyone else said. Take us to the control room, follow up no, no, procedures no, no, no. that you've been listen, trained listen, to do. Listen, Daniel, calm down, calm down. Let's, let's talk on a normal level. Yeah? Yes. I'm not here to shout. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm exactly being shouted, man. My friend, uh, uh, I didn't shout know. once until yeah. this guy started threatening me. You, tried, you, you started like, trying to grab me for no reason. No, no, no. I'm trying to no, 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 no. Can I? Yeah. yeah. So, first of all, I'm going to ask you is for your camera. That's what he doesn't want to do. Listen, we, we're not doing nothing to him. Can, can I I've never seen him sitting in the toilet. He's filming right now. This is everything. Get us out of the toilet. You take us to the call the police right now. You need to get us out of the toilet. Can we have your phone and we delete everything? My phone will stay with me. Once again, I was like, no, you don't have the right to take my phone off me. You can't take my phone off me. And there was no way they were going to get my phone off me. So you guys can actually see in the video, the guy's got his fist up like this and basically trying to intimidate us. It did not work whatsoever because my brother, if you haven't noticed, he's a big guy. He, he, he looks chubby in that coat, but it's all muscle. If my brother really wanted to, he could have uh, flattened him out, but he never. He, he restrained himself because he knew everything's been recorded. It will be all be sorted out in due time. 
and I was very calm in that sense as well where I knew I was getting everything recorded and they couldn't really do anything. You're not gonna be on there. Hey, 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 brother, 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 put you down. Brother, brother, okay. brother, brother. I'm serious, listen, mate. Listen, I'm listen, fucking listen, serious listen, right listen, now. Listen. Okay. Towards the end, everything started cool, cooling down a bit, and they realized they're not getting anywhere with us. So they, they calmed down a little bit, and at one point, guys, you don't see on the camera, but the guy on the right that was actually threatening us at one point started offering me a Snickers bar and chewing gum. He was trying to be cool, so in a, uh, in that sense, I, I I was cool as well. I was like, yeah, he might just be a good guy, and we got off with a bad start. And then the guy kicks off again, talking about, oh, you guys could have been terrorists, blah blah blah. I do online videos. You can search me, identify yeah, me right now. Exactly. exactly. Who's talking about? Like, before, before, before they, they said, said, no, no, listen, that's why he started recording. Listen, listen, that's why he started recording. No, 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 no. Listen, you're, you're recording. We don't know who you are. We don't know. I was about explaining. You. I was explaining. Okay. Before you said, don't, 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 no, you tried to. You tried no, to force no, 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 the right. way out. Wait, listen, listen. listen. We no one's. Of course. All the doors are locked. We came in legally. No one's broken in. You asked us to leave, we're leaving. You want to no, take no, us no. to the control room? You we've got lie. control room, you take us, no, we, first you find out who we are, we're not oh, terrorists, you lie. we're, we're social media people. Oh, we, we can do this guys. nicely, that is it. No, 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 I want to sort it out right now. My friend, you're not within your rights to sort any right now. I want to myself, sort it out right now. As I said, we will sort that out That's the only thing. We have your pictures on the control room, both of you. Exactly. Yeah, no, you've identified us already. When yeah. we start, when we start. So that's the problem is, you guys, you come in the toilet and film in. Yeah. We need to verify who you are, but a woman just said they have our pictures in the control room, which is understandable to verify, but to verify us, all they have to do is take us to the control room and it's done in like a minute. Last time I saw the video yeah. of you guys, it's yeah, we, we, it's not, it's not any oh, harm. Has, not this one. I don't know, but he does it. <laughs> he does, bro. He does. I'm gonna get this. No, no, no. No, no, no. Stop trying to grab me again. My friend, stop trying to grab me. You're grabbing me again. Brother, brother, brother. Can we sort it out from there? This guy's threatening me, he's not about it. Nah, come on, man. Let's. Don't make it like that. Can I see you? Can I see you? You cannot see anything until the police are here, and we'll carry it out professionally and properly. I'm asking you now. No, you're not within your right to ask me for anything. I'm telling you. You're on private property, right? Private property that I paid to get in with a tour pass. So legally, I'm, al I'm allowed to be here until I'm asked to leave. I know my rights. Not up to now. No, not up to now. Now that we're asked to leave. So now, if we leave, we're not trespassing. But if you keep us here, you are keeping us here, so we're not trespassing. Police will explain to you. He will, because I know my rights. Let's wait for the police anyway. They, is, they can speak to you. You've done your job of security. You have filming, and you keep filming. Uh, Mate, give it a rest. Around. That, that's Twice you, you try to go through. for my brother, I stepped in front. Get off me, get off me. You grabbed me. No one grabbed me. Give it a rest. You grabbed me. You grabbed me. You guys threatened us, this whole gang thing. What is this? This isn't a gang. This is a gang. Who do you think you are telling me? Security, security. How are you doing the job, my yeah. friend? You're security, you're not police officers. Yeah, you're security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 My friend, I'll blur your face out. Don't worry about your oh, face. Come being. on, man, you can do nothing. Trust me. No, no I'm being nice. Gonna I'm saying face. I'm going to hide your face yeah. so no you don't get No one sees your face. Or ask us for ID. They don't do none of that. They tell us to go stand in the back of the toilet. They could just walk us out. There's two of them there already. There's a third guy, obviously, not even 10 seconds away. He's outside. And they're still trying to push us in the toilet. At one point, we're surrounded by five people. To them, I told them I would not show their faces during this video because I'm not the type of person I want people to get in trouble. So even after all of this, when we called everything, we're like, all right, blah, blah, blah. We shook hands and stuff. I said I wasn't going to show their faces because... I was being nice. I didn't ha I have to not show their faces. I'm well within my right to show my faces to try to assault us. But I said, no, I wouldn't show their faces. So I'm going to get into why I'm showing their faces now. So when the police actually came, they took my ID and he was reading it out loud. And there was the woman that you see initially, she was actually recording in the back. And I, I told the officer, why is she recording? And he said, uh, she already asked me to. This is why private information is being said. So she's recording my private info. So they know my address, they know my details. During that time, we were all cool, so I didn't think too much of it. And then later on, this is when it gets crazy, like completely crazy. We, we're all cool. And I, I remember a comment that stuck with me. He goes, 
he goes, oh, make sure you don't put my face on there, or I'll come to your house. So we both laughed off. I started laughing, thinking this guy's joking. I shook his hand. I took it as a joke. Little do I know, I get an email. So the very first email I get, I was, I was a bit confused. I was thinking, what is this, another weirdo? I get very, uh, fairly weird emails all the time. So the first email says, hi. So we're going to bring this to your door. I can't obviously say my address, so I have to block it off. As well as an epic post of the Ahmadi household. Inshallah, your next post needs to be well thought of. See you soon, JD. So straight off, I was confused. I was like, well, who's, who is this? Sent this email to my brother, like a group chat. And we were all talking. And then they kind of realised that, they're like, wait. So this first email was actually at four, on 4 February 2017 at 8.30, right? So this is basically two, three hours after we got removed from the place. So then I get a second email the next morning, right? This email was on 5th February 2017 at 9.02 a.m. And it says, TikTok, for every action, there is a reaction. So have you decided as to whether a home visit is necessary? Not to mention a full disclosure of all your details on the channel as well as the dark web. Get in touch, my young Afghan friend. You will not be posting any videos of your last debacle on YouTube. Are we clear? TikTok, JD. Alright, so this is probably one of the creepiest emails I've ever received. So this is basically what made me realise what these emails are about. It's about the Chelsea video. A, a full disclosure of my details, alright? Who would have my details? The Chelsea security people, because the woman was recording and also the two guys were listening in on it. And also it says, uh, get in touch, my young Afghan friend. So this is what actually made me realise who the two perpetrators were, basically. It was the first guy that tried to grab my phone and the security guy that threatened us. And, um... The reason I know this is because when everyone else left the room, it was just me and my brother and these two guys. And we were just talking like friends at this point because everything cooled down. So they're like, oh, what's your heritage, blah, blah, blah. So basically we just told them like our heritage and, and stuff. So only they knew what our heritage was. Another clue they kind of gave us was that in the email they say, inshallah. And when we actually spoke to them, they also told us they were Algerian. And Algerians are predominantly Muslim. So... This gave us another clue to know who they were. Of course, this made me realise this is the Chelsea Stadium video. And I was just thinking, are these guys stupid? Like, the police were there recording this. I recorded this. They made it obvious. So then I thought, let me take it to the next stage and trace these uh, emails. So I sourced the first email, right? And it came up with an IP address. And then I searched the IP address. The first address is 14 minutes away from the stadium. Now, I don't have the equipment to fully trace the IP address. Only law enforcement and everything else has that. So the police can actually trace the IP address. So I, I realised his phone, internet is EE. Uh, I got the IP address there for all the hackers. If you guys want to have your fun, you, the IP address is there. Go ahead, since this guy's going to release my info anyway. So the second email had a different IP address, and it was with Virgin. So I'm guessing that was his home Wi-Fi. Uh, and then the third email also had Virgin. So I'm guessing he was in the same spot. So I'm guessing that was his phone, internet in the first email and the second and third emails from his home internet so i have both ip addresses and you guys can literally track them down the police can track them down and everything else is literally out in the open you guys can see everything so i basically done some good investigative work in my six if you're watching this hi me I, I kind of left it at that and i didn't think much of it for a while and then 8 56 p.m on 5th february this guy sends me a picture of my girlfriend this is when it took it to the next level and then the police actually got involved with this stage and um, we gave the full details of everything. So now that I have the IP address and I have everything, these guys can get traced. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if they're watching this right now. We're not scared of you. If you come with your fat nose, you'll just get a fist through it. But in terms of threatening family, I don't know who you're raised by. I've only ever come across like two guys that ever go for family rather than a person themselves. You're a p That is all I have to say. And for all the hackers out there, if you guys have their IP address, you guys can do whatever you want. If you want to release my information, just know you're going to have the police knocking on your door. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Put channel notifications on. My hoodies are now out. If you want to get the glow in the dark hoodies, the, there should be a card popping up on the left side. Add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is Yusuf. But yeah, see you guys next time. Peace. Get this video to 10,000 likes for more overnight challenges. Peace.